So here we are back at our video blog series, Organizations with Stride, about organizations who offer cool and hip practices for their employees. You can catch us anytime, stride.ca. Stride with a Y, of course, for Generation Y. So here we are at FuseNet, and I have with us Sanjay Singhal, who's the CEO. Um, tell us in two sentences, what does FuseNet do? FuseNet develops software applications, uh, hopefully in ways that are unique and uh, help consumers live their lives better. Okay, great. So one of our first conversations, I remember we were sitting down, you gave, you gave me about three business cards, I knew you were a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I asked you, we were just talking about how do companies maintain the innovative edge and retain those you know, Gen Y employees or the, those entrepreneurial creative types? And it seems like you're figuring it out. I hope so. Um, certainly there's lots of companies that have a lot of bright people and they get an idea and they leave and start up a successful company. We want those people to stay with us. Mm -hmm. And so we came up with our P3 personal pet project program. And, <laughs> uh, and the idea is you can work on whatever you want one day a week and we give you a day, not like Google's where you um, get 20% of your time but you have to find that time. Right. So if you have Friday, uh, work on whatever you want. And, um, and we hope it becomes a commercial idea, but we don't really push it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and we have a ton of people participating in that program. It's very exciting. So, as a, like, you know, my background is human resources. So would I be able to participate? Uh, absolutely. Everybody in the company can okay. participate in the program. So you don't have to be a techie? No. no. <laughs> Our techies, I'll say, participate at a higher rate. Probably 70% right. of them have P3 projects. Um, but we have people in customer service, marketing, uh, even I have a P3. So I know just through reading about it, 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 it enables you to sort of take ownership and, and even own that intellectual property, mm -hmm. right? That's right. So to the employee, to the staffer, they whatever they work on during that time, this is very different from how Google does it, they own the intellectual property. What we get in return is right of first refusal on investment. So uh, once they've got it to a point, they'll always get it to a point where they need money for marketing or hiring staff. Right. Uh, we. Uh, we're the ones who would step in with the money at that point if we think it's a good idea. Or they can go and sell it to someone else. It, um, uh, we don't have any rights on it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fresh idea, but it's, it's, it's almost like, why don't all the companies do it? And, Daniel, I have no idea. I don't understand why people, why companies don't give uh, people who come up with a good idea equity in that idea. But yeah. administratively, it's difficult, I can imagine. But why hasn't anybody done it? Yeah. Know. Hopefully, we can set a trend. Well, I hope you do set a trend because this—I I love this idea—and it's—it's definitely a kind of, you know, it's the kind of thing that, as a, as a, entrepreneur now myself, I think, wow, I would have stayed longer in organizations that have such right. a, you know, great practice. So thanks for explaining, it, and we are on our way to a tour of the FuseNet Labs now. Great. So here we are at the top secret FuseNet Lab, where on Friday all the magic happens and all the innovation happens. So we are here to meet a couple of people involved in it. First of all, Scott. Scott, you actually have, can I call it an innovation that's about to be launched? Yeah, it's, um, we're about a month away from public launch and um, I've actually moved into the P2 stage of the FuseNet Labs, which uh, stands for pre-profit, which also means that I gain investment from FuseNet for my new software. Okay, well that was my next question. Is there anything else that sort of as an employee that kind of attracts you to getting, getting, being part of this lab? Well, the lab's a huge advantage to any entrepreneur, to tell you the truth, because really I wouldn't be able to um, have access to the resources here at FuseNet or any of the, the experience if I, was, if I was to do this on my own. I really wouldn't be able to do this on my own, to tell you the truth. It's, uh, it's an amazing opportunity for anybody that wants to build or start their own business. Great. So that's, that's pretty cool. And, and Salman, you are the director. You're like the chief potato of this whole FuseNet <laughs> lab thing here. Right. So true. what else do we, do, what do you want to tell us like from an employee perspective of why this is a great, a great thing to happen every Friday? Well, it's really great because uh, most of the people here are entrepreneurs and, you know, if you have entrepreneurs in the company, people are going to find time to do something on their own. So what we, what we believe is like giving people the time to work on it and at the same time give them guidance, coaching, and, you know, hopefully have some sort of stake in their 
uh, in, in their project and help them become successful. Perfect. So they're already going to do that, but so you give them the Friday to right. do it. And so what, what role do you play? I play more of like a guidance role. I help people out with uh, their business projects. Some people are developers here, so they need the business perspective, so I kind of help them out with keeping them in line with finding their targeting their potential customers, who their market size is, things like that. So Great. more of a guidance type of role. All right. Well, thanks. Enjoy speaking to you. And we're going to go back to Sanjay. He's now on his scooter <laughs> using company time. <clears throat> Sanjay, my last question for you is what's on the wish list for FuseNet? If I could give you a magic wand, what do you wish for? Well, I, I wish for some successful projects to come out of FuseNet Labs. And certainly Scott's the, the next launch in about three weeks. So that, that's my big wish is that that's a success. Okay, keep us posted, and how can employees who are attracted and uh, who are entrepreneurial types get to FuseNet? Uh, go to our website, uh, FuseNet.ca, and uh, we're constantly hiring in all departments and all the information's there. Cool, I'm getting my resume ready. Okay. Signing out from Organizations with Strive, you can catch us anytime Strive.ca or shoot us an email at success at Strive.ca. Let us know what company do you want us to feature next?